We are back with Nick, Joe and Kevin Jonas, everybody. Now, this is exciting. You have just announced the Remember This summer yes. tour. Yes. Kelsey Ballerini is opening for you. Now, you call it Remember This. Is that like, remember this? Remember this? Live music, that was a thing. <laughs> or is it like, remember us? Remember please? this? We haven't toured in a while. Do we remember this? <laughs> or, is it, or is it like, guys, remember this? Every other tour we've done, we've been ripped to the <laughs> on drugs. Let's... <laughs> Let's make sure we remember this one. Someone finally got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Third one. It's, it's kind of all the above. I think the, especially just remembering what the feeling is like to be with a bunch of people listening to music and celebrating. So that's what it's, for us at least, what it is. I think it's going to be incredible. It's all outdoor. I mean, yeah. what, what can fans expect from the show? Well, we haven't done a tour in amphitheaters or sheds in, in quite a while, that's years. Um, and so... I think for us, you know, it, it's sort of a home base. It's like coming back to our roots almost and being outside with our fans. Uh, obviously, touring's been shut down for a year and a half, but to be one of the first um, groups to be able to go back out and, and to see our fans again is going to be really incredible. And obviously, Kelsey's amazing. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be playing some new music. So there's that as well. It's going to be it's going to be great. I mean, you first started touring 16 years ago. We've actually got a photo here of you on your first tour in 2005. Mm, Kevin, wow. what do you remember? About this time. Look at these cherubs. Wow. wow. Um, a couple things. Notice the pillows. So yep. this was definitely in our minivan that we had going back up and down the coast, like East Coast at the time, doing like school performances. Which and basically means that we would, we would roll into school auditoriums at about 6.30 a.m., load our gear in, and then we did uh, an anti-drug school tour where we would play a concert basically at 8 a.m., when kids were first arriving in school, and they hated us. They were so mad. <laughs> like, it was How the old worst. were the kids? Like, you know, middle schoolers, high schoolers. Um, and you and were, just, so you were just out there, like, just say no. Like, no. <laughs> loud no, music, no. Full, full show. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that our early records were, were mostly, you know, punk, pop, rock stuff. So yeah. it was just loud and in your face, and they hated us. <laughs> really? Yeah. And was did, great. did you, so, you used to just sleep in this van, you would... Oh, yeah, because we couldn't afford, at the time, like, hotel rooms for our band and, you know, the whole thing. So we would get up in the morning, drive that van to wherever we had to go, do the shows all day, and then drive home at night, because it's a lot cheaper to drive back and pay for the gas than it was to stay in a hotel in Boston. Yeah, well, it also looks like from this photo that I can see here, Kevin, that you also didn't... You didn't go nuts on the catering. Is yeah, this what you, yeah, yeah. Is this a regular... <laughs> Oh, Is this man. a typical, um, typical that, tour that, food back then? That was um, cafeteria food at one of the schools, but they had tater tots, so I win. You, know? you, this looks you, like don't you look do thrilled. look very happy about it. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. very excited yeah. about those tots. I, I, that was a rough moment, I think, in my life. But then after this, you, one, of your, one of your big breaks was you went and you opened for the Backstreet Boys. Um, Joe, what, what were those shows like? Those, that was kind of an awakening moment for all of us. Like, seeing the Backstreet Boys in such a huge stage with these fans that were going nuts, screaming every word of these songs, they were like rock stars to us. We never really seen somebody perform like that. And we're like, okay, we want to experience this. So when we were told that we were going to open up for them, we're like, this is a big opportunity. What they didn't tell us was we were the opening, 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 opening band. Oh. So we were literally the music they play as you, like, walk into... As the doors open. As the doors open, like... Oh, God. It wasn't opening band, it was pre-show music. Pre-show music. You know, you like, there, yeah. when you land in, uh, like, the Bahamas or Puerto Rico, there's, like, a local bl band playing you through the airport. We were You're, that like, band. for your back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that must have been... But did you know that were you, when you were backstage, were you like, all right, guys, this is Regar it. it. Oh, regardless if there was seven people in the audience, it still was exciting for us because we were sharing the stage with all these big artists at the time. So, of and course, we on knew... every bio that we would, you know, write ourselves about ourselves, <laughs> we would say, opener for Backstreet Boys, Kelly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're just the, the pre-show music. <laughs> but actually, at that show, uh, Kevin, the guitar player in our band, uh, forgot one very important thing before he we went on stage for the pre-show performance. You want to tell him? Yeah, so we are out on stage. Jonas Brothers! There's no guitar. I left it in the dressing room. So I had to run off stage while they're playing our first song at this big moment and run through to the, into a dressing room that was shared with other artists and grab my guitar and run back out. And I missed the first song of that show. Wow. <laughs> I've got to say, I've got to be honest, I've, 
And we only played two songs. Yeah. I f***ed up a lot, but I've never f***ed up that bad. No, it was... <laughs> to this moment, I think about it, and I go... The sheer panic in my, in my body, running backstage trying to find the dressing room... And you're full, full of tater tots. I'm oh, sorry. I'm full <laughs> of tater tots. <laughs> um, it was just really bad. It was, it... He's puking tater tots, I'm playing just... the, the guitar. <laughs> Now, you've just said, you said there, uh, Nick, that we, there's going to be some new music on the yes. tour. Everybody yeah. wants to know, does that mean there's a new album on the way? When can we expect to hear these? So there's always music, and there, there will be more new music. In fact, we just put the song out with Marshmallow, which we're incredibly excited about, and, you know, more to come. Uh, we don't know if it'll be an album or if we'll just keep putting songs out, but, but there'll, there'll be a lot of new music, and uh, a song that's coming out kind of in conjunction with the Olympics, which is really exciting, and... Uh, we just want to, you know, keep keep it going. Yeah. Well, there you go. The Jonas Brothers' new single, Remember This, is out June 18th, and tickets for their US tour go on sale at 10 a.m. local time tomorrow. Go. It's going to be fantastic. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>